I want to welcome you to my life, where I succeed and you succeed, we all succeed together. Remember, be an inspiration through love and motivation. I got all the entertainment that you want. Vlogs, challenges, story times, you name it. What's up with it? You're back with another day with Jack Quinn. And actually, I'm over here struggling. And I'm frustrated right about now. Um, This blue light special is really called... It's really supposed to be titled... Should I let her back in my life? Portion of that, I am going to give y'all. But I'm right here. I'm right here frustrated. I'm hot. I'm heated. I'm very frustrated. I'm angry. I don't know how to ex else express it, but I can't get... I'm not... Get, I swear I don't want to give up on this child in every form of way. But first and foremost, let me go ahead and give you... I'll probably be bringing y'all two blue light specials back to back. I swear. I'm so I'm so heated right about now. But right about now, um let's let's focus on the title of the of the video. Uh it's blue light special number six. Episode six. Should I let her back in my life? Now today, today was a day. Um uh, as you seen yesterday, I actually met up with some, some friends from high school, actually. And that went well, and I enjoyed myself and everything. That was very well. And one thing I want to say is that we never left off on a bad note. Now, on this, on the on the second behalf, on the second behalf, I would like to say that... Uh, I met up with another person that I went to school with and that I was actually cool with and friends with, which we left off on a bad note for one. We left off we left off on a bad note for one and then on top of that, uh we never re we never really disclosed that or got past that even throughout the whole years and like it wasn't like the end of the school. It wasn't at the end of, of our graduation year, but it was like our sophomore year in high school that we ended our friendship, really. But it was recently my birthday, as you all know. Uh, so that person actually commented on my video and, and well, commented on my page and and told me happy birthday and, and like I do as a general thing and I say, Oh, thank you, thank you for thank you for everybody that, that actually commented happy birthday on my video because I actually didn't get to everybody personally and say thank you, but I did try to look I did try to heart every comment that said happy birthday for one. But I, I really I really haven't been strong on social media at all. But Back to the story, uh, should I let her back in my life? Now, I don't know if I even want to break down all of the reason why, reason why I stopped talking to her and why we really fell out, why we, well, why we didn't stay on a good note is, be, but um, I, I am, I'm going to start off by saying that tonight uh, was actually a good night. It was a good night. I enjoyed myself. I mean, it was entertaining. Um, I want to say, let me see. Okay, so she contacted me Sunday. She said, happy birthday, whatever. And I said, thank you back. I said, thank you back. And that was that. And then from there, I think she imp imp insisted that we meet up somewhere. We meet up or some something, some sort of... I want to see. I miss you. I miss my brother. Cause it's actually a person I would call that I used to call my play sister. But um, yeah. We we uh, I'm really lost because I'm. It's not even this topic that I'm mad about. It's another topic, actually. But. But um. 
tonight. So she she insisted she insisted that we meet up, which I was like I was open to it because it's been a few years. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hold no grudge, and I'm gonna start over my new life. I'm gonna start over a new life. Let me see where where it can take us. I mean, I don't have friends like this, so I mean, it really ain't that hard for me. But I mean, I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. It's been it was well long ago. But I know how. I, I mean, I know how you how you treated me. But I'm I'm sure you're well past that, past that now. But um, cause we all grow in each and every different way. So who knows? Who knows what what the future may hold and everything that that comes along with it. So. Actually, she told him she sent me a number and we start texting through the messages, through the messages of the number. She told me to contact us Sunday, see what's, what's up, whatever you want to do uh, Sunday. After you get off work, we can meet up or whatever. So I contacted her. I It was it was actually left on me. So if I didn't contact her today, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been over. It would have been like, oh, oh, well, whatever. And then, so I, so I, I actually contacted her today, and I actually contacted her today, and we actually came up on agreement of what we was gonna do, or whatever. I really thought, I really, real, real talk, I really didn't want to go to where she lives at first. I really wasn't insisting on going to where she lives. My thing was that we can meet out, and then we can talk about, it and talk and discuss, catch up, whatever. Discuss some things and then that'll be that. And then maybe if the if that went good, we could go to the we could go grow, grow and build what we used to have or whatever. So from there, actually, um, she well, I actually ended up going to the house or whatever, going to where the family stay and base well her her family meaning her uh. Her boyfriend, her boyfriend, and her and his and his family, and and his and her cousins, whatever. So she was having a, she threw a little barbecue together for her cousin, and we were just basically chilling at the house. Really, really wasn't too much of a party or nothing like that. But we watch a uh, Black Panther. If you haven't seen that video, go check out that video. Go check out that movie review. That's my actually fourth time seeing it tonight. But uh, yeah. Uh, we actually caught up. We was on good terms throughout the night, throughout the day. Uh, no bad, no bad feeling, no ill intentions. wasn't I didn't walk in with a negative vibe. Um, I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't catch a negative vibe from her. Um, I feel like we could. It could grow. It could grow to to be better. It could. It could grow to be better. I mean. I don't have, I don't hold no I don't hold no hard feelings against the the situation. I mean, if I do see uh things that might trumble back, then I might space my way. I might back up myself a little a, a little bit more. But uh, other than that, it was a good it was a good night. Um, I enjoyed myself. But my question is. Should I let this person back in my life? Even though y'all don't know what actually happened. Um, let me say it was just a bad fall out, really. Like, I can say that. I stopped talking to her before, even before. I stopped talking to the person before, even before. I already said her. Okay. But um, I stopped talking to the person even before we even stopped going to the same school together. That's that's how bad it was. We were still going to the same school, and I wasn't talking to her. So, I mean, hey. But, I mean, from the perception I got tonight, it was all good vibes. I mean, I don't mind pushing it a little bit more and everything, but I swear I'm frustrated. Well, I'm not frustrated off that subject, but it's another one. But, um... Pray for, pray for what we got going on. And just tell me if I should, I mean, should I rekindle? Uh, Not even, I mean, when when I say rekindle, I mean, it's any type of relationship. I mean, a relationship with my brother, my, my mama, my, 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 my friend, my my cousin. And, I mean, rekindle is a rekindle. It ain't just necessarily mean relationship, relationship, uh, relationship importance or whatever. 
like two people being intimate, but no, I'm just saying, should I should I give it an effort in putting uh, give an effort more of an effort in making sure that the relation that the friendship lasts or whatever? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure right about now, I'm really frustrated. I'm hot. I'm man. I'm I'm really I I didn't meet my ten minute mark, so I'm about to go out here and hurry up and give this to y'all. I'm frustrated. You probably be getting a blue light special seven after this. I don't know how I'm feeling right now, but I'm really want to bust this boy in the back of his head right about now. Get him some sense in his head. But hey, I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share the channel, share the videos on your social media platforms. You know what to do. It's Mr. Super Jack Queen. We all up in this thing. H Town Bound doing the thing, man. Hey. I'm, I'm gonna check you out with another one tomorrow. <laughs> Look me in my eyes and try to feel my pain. Do you know how it feels to be left out in the rain? Each and every day there's someone judging me. Worry about my life and how I live in these dreams. Every day I wake up, gotta hug.